guess who's back in HD? Is it just me or does there seem to be an influx of launches before Christmas? Anyway, this one's called Rabbit Launcher. <laughs> Okay, so this launcher comes with its own live wallpaper and themes that you can download, like this one, it looks pretty cool. It's that whole paper thing that there's a big crave about. And the cool thing about at the bottom you can see these little um, cubes that are spinning around. Okay, so that's the um, phone icon. So I'll just click back and you can see at the bottom that there's these little cubes spinning around the icons and on the desktop there's all these little icons as well that's part of the theme so on the top right we have a little sun and that's a hide desktop icon so it hides everything except the live wallpaper it's kind of cool and we'll just put that back up and on the top left we've got the theme store so you can download themes including live wallpapers and icons and a whole different profile of themes and obviously you can see that I had three. I'm just I'll choose this one. This was the stock one that it came with. And you can see the live wallpaper. Um looks like the wallpaper is quite static, except they've added another layer to that, like the little dart flying around the rabbit launcher logo. And you can see there's the theme was white. There's the white icons, and that's the app drawer. And you can check out which you recently used apps. None for me today. And we can also check out running apps. This is all I have running at the moment. And it's home. And then there's the next one, which is the application manager. That's pretty cool. So you can click on that and uninstall apps instead of going out of that into your system menu and back to applications. It's a nice little shortcut to have. And let's get back out. Okay, so that's the app drawer again. And you can prioritize recently stored apps or all of your apps. And there's obviously a cube effect that it's running at the moment. So we click on the settings options. We've got an option to add. So we can add wallpaper, uh, etc. And we've got an option for wallpaper. So in this one, you get to choose what live wallpaper or what gallery you want to insert your wallpaper from. I think you know what that's about. We've got edit, so we can edit tiles. We can add tiles like I've just done here. And we can click on the top right. If we click on a tile, it goes to that specific tile. Top right deletes the tile. Right. So we also have settings that goes to our phone settings. I'll just go back and get back into that again and now we've got contents box and inside that that shows us our box of themes we've downloaded and widgets which actually there are none at the moment coming soon so I'm going to apply this theme there we go and you can see the Icons have changed to text now, and there's a little cube box that's rotating around that. So, Rabbit Launcher is highly customizable. You don't have to go into the depths of it yourself, you just can add a theme. Um, and that's Rabbit Settings. Um, I'm not sure what language that is. Hieroglyphics or something? <laughs> um, it does look like there's a bit of a glitch that if I hold it, oh, you can see it flashed the text in English for a second there. So I hold it down, oh, you can see it's, it's home screen, screens, that's wallpaper, we have the app drawer, we have my themes, the store, home settings, and about. So you can actually see what they're called. I'm not sure if that's on purpose. Um, I wouldn't like to think so. It's a bit annoying, to be honest. Okay, so home screens, check out our grid. I make it 5x5, five five. it's always better to have a bigger grid. Page indicator, turn that off, don't need that on there. Desk transitions, that's good. I might trans change the transition and see what else we'll have to play with. Okay, let's get back out and see what effect that has had. 
Okay, so we can pull it across. All right, okay. It doesn't look too bad. Looks more like a box out effect to me, but anyway. Okay, so so let's go into the theme store and let's check out a couple of themes that I can download. Um, this app is free, so I'm assuming that there are some themes you can download that will cost money. Let's just uh, see if we can prove that theory or not. This one looks like it's quite attractive. Play store. Oh, there we go. A dollar nine. Well, it's not going to break the bank. And and that one that I had before, the moon one, that one is free. And actually those three that I had in my my box, which is what it calls, it's where it stores its themes, they were all free. So there's a lot to choose from that are free. That one obviously was paid. Okay, let me go in and apply this theme here. Nice dark theme to save our battery. Uh, with white icons, so... I guess it doesn't really. Okay. So I'm going to hold and press and see if I can see what widgets this launcher has to offer other than the normal stock widgets that we have. Okay, so we've got a clock. I'm assuming that's the 3D yeah, the 3D clock from the previous page. We click on that and oh, it's a nice little effect that it shows it's moving. Um, it snaps to grid, so it's, it doesn't float anywhere inside your page. I'll add a 4x1 HD widget just to show you what that looks like. See if we can resize it. And I'll change that to a forecast with a clear background. That's just what I prefer. Okay, yep, and we'll hold it and see if we can resize. Beautiful. Okay, so all in all, pretty good. Okay, so if you're wondering wh why you can see a little black head in the background, that's my shadow. And I'm actually using my wife's iPhone 4S because my camera doesn't seem to be recording in HD. So once again, this has been Rabbit Launcher. It's free on the Android Play Store. And I'll put a link in the description so you can try it out for yourself. Wow.